Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Describe the nature of bivariate data. Differentiate bivariate data from univariate data. And determine the variables involved in the given bivariate data. Let's have a quick activity. Is spotting variables. A variable is named as such because the value of it may vary. It is any characteristic, number, or quantity that can be measured or counted. Can you spot the variables in each situation? Let us shade and count the variables in each item here. Number one, you compare the number of hours you study and the scores you get on your exams. What could be the variables here? What could vary? The number of hours you study as well as the scores you get on your exams. We have one, two, two variables. Number two, a medical intern records the weight of diabetic patients. What could vary here? What do we measure? The weight of diabetic patients. We only have one variable here. Number three, a botanist studied the effect of the amount of fertilizer on the height of the plants. So what could be the variables here? What can we measure? The amount of fertilizer as well as the height of the plants. We have one, two, two variables. Number four, the guidance counselor gathers the height, weight, and average of incoming grade 11 students. The variables are, we have the height, the weight, and the average. We have one, two, three variables. Last one, an ice cream vendor compare his sales and the temperature of the day for one week. So what could be the variables in this situation? We have the sales and the temperature of the day. One, two, two variables. Let us define some terms. Data are recorded observations and measurements. Variables are characteristics or attributes that are observed, measured, and recorded. When you describe a variable, then you are using descriptive statistics. And in order to describe a variable, you need to analyze them. We have three types of analysis depending on the number of the variables. We have univariate analysis, bivariate analysis, and multivariate analysis. Let us dig deeper into that. Univariate from its prefix uni means only one. Just like a unicycle, it has one wheel. The purpose of a univariate analysis is to summarize or describe one variable. An example from our earlier activity, weight of diabetic patients. Bivariate from its prefix, bi, means two, just like a bicycle. It has two wheels. The purpose of bivariate analysis is to analyze and determine the relationship between two variables. An example is the amount of fertilizer and height of plants. The last one is the multivariate. When we say multi, more than two. So the purpose of multivariate analysis is to analyze and determine the relationship, if there's any, between three or more variables. Example, the height, weight, and average of incoming grade 11 students. In our lesson today, we will focus more on bivariate data. Let us define bivariate data consists of the values of two different response variables that are obtained from the same population of interest. Take note that two different response variables should come from the same population. There are three possible combinations of variables. One is if both variables are qualitative, attribute, meaning it describes. Example, one variable is the sex, male or female. Another variable is the modality of learning, online, modular, or blended. 
Another possible combination, one variable is qualitative and the other one is quantitative, meaning numerical. Let us say the qualitative variable again is the sex, male or female, and the quantitative variable is their height. Last possible combination, both variables are quantitative, so both are numerical. Example, the age and the height. Now, how do we present these different combinations? For number one, when both variables are qualitative, we can use cross-tabulation or contingency table, just like this one. Here is the one variable, the sex, male or female, and here is another variable, the modality of learning. This is an example of cross-tabulation. From here, you can easily see how many males and females prefer a particular modality of learning. For number two, when one variable is qualitative and the other one is quantitative, we may use dot plot or box plot. For that plot, here is the qualitative data, the sex, and here is the quantitative data. These dots here represents measurements or counts. Another one again is box plot. The colors represent the qualitative data, blue for male and red for female. And the numbers here is the qualitative data. In this type of plots, we can determine the mean, the median, and the mode. And for number three, when both variables are quantitative, meaning both are numerical, we will use a scatter plot. Example here is the age of teenagers from 13 to 19. These are just boundaries and their corresponding height in inches. So both age and height are quantitative data. Consider this as a teaser. We are going to discuss more of this in our next lesson. For the meantime, let's have an activity. Determine and describe. Shade the variable or variables in each situation, then tell whether it is univariate, bivariate, or multivariate. Number one, the average grade of Paula is 92. So what is the attribute here that may vary? It is the average grade. We only have one variable, so this is univariate. Number two, overtime pay depends on the length of time rendered. So what could vary here? What do we measure or count? The overtime pay and the length of time. We have here two variables. This is bivariate. Number three, the PE teacher discovered that the mean height of his students is 150 centimeters. So what could vary here or what could we measure? The mean height. We only have one variable. This is univariate. By the way, just a quick tip, measures of central tendencies such as mean, median, or mode are used to describe univariate data. Last one, a study is made about the frequency of going out, length of time is spent outside, and type of establishments of the people infected. So what are the variables here? We have the frequency of going out. So how often do you go out of your house? The length of time, how long do you stay outside? And the type of establishments, is it enclosed or open space? We have one, two, three, this is a multivariate. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. Take time to understand this. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer just like what we did earlier. We're going to shade the variable or variables in each situation. Then we're going to tell if it is univariate, bivariate, or multivariate. Number one, the intern records the temperature of patients. So what do we measure here? The temperature of patients. We only have one, so this is a univariate. 
Number two, the doctor created a report on the age and number of patients infected by the virus. What could vary here? We have the age as well as the number of patients. We have two, so this is bivariate. Number three, the demand for paracetamol affects its price. So what could vary here? We have the demand. Is it high or low? As well as the price. We have two variables. Again, this is bivariate. And last one, a nurse recommends monitoring the blood pressure of those who got vaccinated. So what do we measure? What could vary? It is the blood pressure. We only have one variable, so this is a univariate. Gets? Just like what I mentioned earlier, our next lesson is, is scatter plot.